Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister from Traction Dynamics. Uh, today I'm going to give you a quick explanation of how the brake system on the 2018 and newer Honda Goldwing works. Uh, I'm a big fan of the new brakes on the Goldwing and I think pretty much everybody who's ridden the bike is as well. The brakes are vastly superior to the preceding model bikes. Uh, they're bigger and more powerful. and uh, the truth is, one of the, the ways they've, they've done that is by decomplicating the linked brake system on the bike. So the last, the brake system on the 2001 to 2017 Honda Goldwing was the most convoluted, hokiest, over-engineered, oddly performing brake system of any motorcycle ever made. It was not good. Um, the advent of the linked brake system actually started with the Honda Goldwing. So uh, years ago, long time ago, back when I was a kid working in my first bike shops in the 80s, um, when Goldwings, we would see them come into the shop crashed with front ends all bent up under them. And when you would go to inspect the bike, you'd find that the rear brake rotors were black and blue and had burnt up, been used to burn up. And the, sometimes the front rate brake rotors would be so would be so perfectly new they'd still have the cross hatch on the rotors from when they were manufactured. So uh, it's because people were uneducated as to how to drive a motorcycle, they were scared to pull the front brake. So they were trying to stop a 800 or 1,000 pound motorcycle with the rear brake pedal, and it just didn't work. So Honda couldn't have people driving their premier motorcycle into the back of stationary objects. So they had to come up with a way to force people to use the front brakes on the motorcycle, whether they wanted to or not. And the result is the linked brake system. So when, when you think you're scared and you step on your rear brake, you're going to get the front brakes whether you want them or not. <clears throat> now, that evolved further and further and further. And by the time it got to the 2001 Goldwing, it was ridiculous, the whole system was. Now, Honda has cleaned up the new system on, uh, on the new bike and it works much more like a, motor, a normal motorcycle and so if you're a traditionally trained a properly trained motorcyclist you can drive this bike more normally on the preceding Goldwing you got the bulk of the braking power with the rear brake pedal so if you were accustomed to being a front brake riding motorcyclist as you should be uh, you would not get very much brake power out of the preceding Goldwing if you're used to just riding around pulling the front brake lever so you had to learn, relearn how to drive a motorcycle to ride the old Goldwing. On the new bike, they have delinked the front brake system from the linked brake system. Great news. So now when you, when you pull your front brake lever, you are going to get uh, just front brakes. Now of the pistons on the front of the bike, the six piston calipers, you're going to get four of each front brake caliper. Not, not all six, you're going to get four. All right, so this is going to feel very much like a traditional motorcycle, which it does. Uh, and that's, that's great news, and uh, I like it a lot better. Now, they did leave the, the brakes linked with the rear, but they simplified it. So when you step on the rear brake, you're getting all six pistons on the rear caliper and you're getting a little bonus up here you're going to get some front brakes in there with it two pistons on each of the front calipers okay so and basically this is just to protect bad drivers from themselves so if you're the kind of person who doesn't understand how to ride a motorcycle and yet you've bought a Goldwing if you step on the rear brake, you're going to get the front brakes whether you want them or not. And that's for your own good. Um, so, and not to totally go into brake systems altogether, but, uh, you know, most people should be aware. There's a reason there's one smaller rotor on the back, one smaller brake on the back, and two large brakes on the front. So when, you're, when you go to stop the motorcycle, the heavy brakes are on the front, the weight of the motorcycle is transferred forward onto the front tire, driving it into the ground and get adding additional traction and that's where you can apply uh, why you can apply so much brake force to 
the front of the motorcycle and that's how the proper way to stop it. If you were to just use the rear brake, you could skid and just drag the rear wheel. So if you've ever watched super bike races, you'll notice the uh, giant rotors in the front of the wheels and a little teeny one on the back and they stop so hard with the front wheel at 150 miles an hour that they float the rear wheel in the air frequently. So um, uh, this is exactly the same way your car works, your car or truck, whether you've noticed it or not. I don't, when you step on the brakes, you notice the front of your car dips down. That's normal. Um, even you'll have four brakes on your car and they have what's called a proportioning valve in the car that applies a greater amount of brake force to the front brakes on your car. So all this works the same. You want to be able to get the weight to transfer forward uh, and push the tire to the ground. All right, so Honda, nice job of de-linking the brakes to a great extent, simplifying your, the brake system on the new bike and making it work way better. So uh, my name is Max. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, hit the share button and show it to some of your friends who uh, you might have been having debates with about all kinds of different things on the new bike. So thanks a lot.